सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल इन दिस वीडियो विल कवर द टॉपिक व्हाई यू शुड ज्वाइन एज अ फैसिलिटेटर और व्हाई यू शुड ज्वाइन एज अ पार्टिसिपेंट इन द आर्केड फैसिलिटेटर प्रोग्राम पार्ट टू सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ एन न्यू टू दिस चैनल लाइक द वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल ना फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ यू हैव इट वॉच दिस वीडियोज आई विल शेयर द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन दिस वीडियोज वट इज आर्केड वेन दिस इज आर्केड फैसिलिटेटर प्रोग्राम विल स्टार्ट for cohort to make sure to watch it apart from these if you want to become a facilitator for the cohort too you can watch this video i share the complete guideline how you can become and fill the form accordingly and get your chance to get exciting google goodies i will show this in the next part of this video on now let's start so first of all why you should join as a facilitator so a facilitator comes with a role that you have to lead and uh, you have to minimum enroll 100 students i if the guidelines update i will make up updated video no need to worry about it as many were requesting the guidelines so i am sharing the previous guidelines that was for cohort 1 so you have to enroll minimum 100 users and all those users should be unique users not like multiple accounts they should have unique ids like a one person one account that i hope you understand now another thing is that you have to enroll minimum 100 students there is no upper limit you can reach 10000 10k 100 million etc anything i don't think 100 million anyone will get but still this was an example so you have to enroll them so here basically just like you are filling a facilitator pro if you haven't checked you can check that video i am repeating this video just like the facilitator form a form is released on the arcade facilitator home page so as you can see we are in the arcade facilitator home page here you can see the cohort 4 will open on 4th of august and will be ending on 6th of august so basically registration will open around 5 pm the form will be posted here and i will also make updated video for the form how to fill it no need to worry about it now what you have to do you have to share that form with your community members like suppose you are a college student you have to just share this form with your college students or community groups if you are company employees you can share with your friends and family members kindly note this event is only for indian participants and the swags if you for the arcade facilitator swags not the participants swag arcade facilitator swags will be given to the indian participant only and if there are multiple facilitator program running in different countries you can check it out if you are from indonesia us or anywhere you can check that out too now the main thing is that here that once the form is live you have to fill the form you will get a referral code you have to enter the referral code you have to basically share with your friends sorry friends and community members they will enter the referral code and then fill the form and once all things are completed they will be enrolled and you will be getting progress so what happens once the form is filled the form is filled by the students do you get a you get a email after a week and then you will be able to track their progress and guide them suppose what happens what are the rules of the facilitator let issue like by chance they are facing credits issue like they are unable to redeem the credits or suppose they are unable to open any lab so like what we did in this cohort a lot we guys were facing issue on one particular lab multiple labs and then we have reported it to the support team and they have marked as option for example when you open the week 4 you can see this lab a lot of you guys were facing issue of flow logs issue like you were unable to enable the flow logs now what we have done we have reported to the internal team and now you can see the required tag has been removed so what does that mean the required tag removed means if you complete 1 2 and 3 these three you will be able to get the week 4 trivia badge similarly if you see any lab any badge with no required tag that means you'll get the badge by doing the remaining labs so that was the main thing as a facilitator now you have to conduct meetups meetups or you can conduct personal meetings like you can use your college auditorium or you can just use google meet and conduct meetings track their progress motivate the participants share the insights and insider news like as a facilitator we get some insider news also which we have to share with the participants when the main team has allowed us and then you will be able to get the swags like this and you can see these are the swags for the participants so i will cover all things no need to worry about it now i would share what happens when you fill this form so you can see wait a minute so this is the form how to become a facilitator 
this you have to click on this video and in the description box here is the video now in the description box also i've shared the video now when you click on this you will get a form link you have to open this form and you have to just follow the guidelines i have shared the detailed description in this video only you can watch it because if i make this video lengthy then it will become more than 30 minutes so i don't want to make this video lengthy so if we just follow the way i have done now some complete basic guidelines and sharing that is important why for the facilitator this is for the facilitator i am saying this for facilitators not for participant for participant i will tell participants then only you will follow for participant now for the facilitators what you have to do basically you have to enter the name which is present on your government id government id that does not mean your college id it's like aadhar card pan card voter id and driving license etc these are your government ids and your name should be match with that because previously many you people used to create fake accounts and it led to many disadvantages to the google also and due to which we are having some lab limits too so the main thing is that you need to understand what is more required for the program apart from this one more important thing is that you have to make your google cloud community account how you have to make all things have been cleared in this video do watch it and fill the form as soon as possible because it will be closed soon as the slots are very limited for facilitators and one more query many were asking that do co-facilitator also get same swags like facilitator and do they have to enroll another 100 so the answer is not a facilitator you will be combined that means you both will get same sex or same sets of swags and the swags will be similar to this one let me show you the swags the most awaited thing so you can see this is the previous video we have got gimbal power bank light hoodie white hoodie the limited edition hoodie this will never come in a normal participant swag so make sure to take care of it now once you have filled the form you will be wait a minute once you have filled this form what will happen they will filter your response like they will see whether you are eligible or not based on the responses you have selected only a handful facilitators will be selected after that you'll get a nomination form event where you have to nominate any facilitator so basically the first facilitator is selected by the team and second of your choice you can select anyone your family members your brother sister or friends anyone can become a co-facilitator you can just to enter their details and they too have to provide the original government id and government name also like you cannot use any random name to create accounts like kitty bb etc you should create official name so after that you have got nomination once you have been shortlisted they will get then you will get nomination form and once you have got the nomination form after that after what to two one to two days or even a week you'll be getting all things will be done for the 4th of august so you'll be getting that email that you have been selected and now you are a part of facilitator then you'll get a chance to enter into the secret facilitator group will be shared by invite only that if you are selected you'll get so that's how the process starts and then the program will start on 4th of august where you have to share the form with your participants and then they will enter in your referral code and then they will be the part of your part of your enrollment and you'll be able to guide them you'll be getting daily progress report of your and facilitator like how many students are enrolled in you how many progress they have done like how many skill badges courses lab free courses they have done they will you will be able to see see and the sheet will be provided where you will be able to track the individual progress and if any students by mistake makes a public profile correct or he hasn't started the badge you can just contact them via email and help them if they face any issue so basically a facilitator role is just like a volunteer in the college you have to just guide them they because most of the participants are new and there should be a connection between them the benefit of this is that you'd be able to establish your own community and lead many people now some of you are worried that do we have to have a 
compulsory a YouTube channel for this. No need to worry about it. You can share my channels and videos to your participants. They will be able to complete the labs in the case there is any stuff. You can comment down on many video. You can reach out to me via Instagram. Anything. I will try to help you as much as I can. I will prepare a fresh sheet for the next cohort. Fresh rapid courses. All things will come in this channel. No need to worry about. So this was about the facilitator. Now as a participant, what is the steps? So as a participant, if you are participating in the participant, if you are participating in the ARCID program as a ARCID facilitator program as a participant, what are the major difference? So let's first of all clarify the major difference. So if you are participate as a participant, you will be able to get these facts mentioned on the ARCID homepage. You will be able to get only these facts. But if you become a facilitator, you will be getting these facts. This is for previous cohort. And this is of latest cohort. That means we have received this mail yesterday only. That is on 24th of June 2025. So you will be getting these tracks if you are a part of facilitator program as a facilitator. I am repeating this again and again because a lot of people are not watching video completely and just saying that they have earned the swags but they are not getting prize email. But I have already shared this is all for facilitator not for participant. Now the, another important thing is that if you have participated as a participant, you will be getting these swags and if you have participated as a facilitator, you will be getting these swags. This is the major another benefit of this, becoming a facilitator. Now as a facilitator program for participants, now the part is for participants. You can just confirm you are a participant. For participants, the main thing is that you will be getting bonus point as a part of arcade facilitator program. There won't be any swags like this I have shared in the video. You won't be get these swags as a part of facilitator program as a participant. These swags are only for facilitator. You will be getting these swags on. Now the main thing for introducing facilitator program for start to get bonus. For example, suppose you have Suppose you have 75 points earned by ARCID program and now you are getting 10 points as a bonus as a participant in the ARCID facilitator program. So you are getting 10 points extra and you are able to, you are able to reach the legend tire with no efforts. That means you have done efforts of 75 points only but you are getting 10 points for free and you are able to claim this legend tire and also a lot of you guys are asking what kind of these swags are. So do comment what do you think about these swags, comment down your feedback so that I can forward to the arcade team, they can it conduct uh, they can consider new swags for the next cohort. Now one more thing is that here you can see there are multiple swags also. So this tire that is if you have 20 points suppose let's take 20 points example you have earned 20 points and you get 20 bonus points as a part of arcade facilitator program then you will be able to claim just with 20 points effort the 40 point swags that is the two so currently the point matrix has not been updated for the facilitator program of cohort 2 when it gets updated i'll make a detailed video on it no need to worry about it now main thing is that i wanted to clear it that the participant registration will start from 4th of august so stay tuned for it i'll share the link in the description when the program starts also i'll make updated videos to guide you how you can fill the form and complete this program so i hope this clears your doubt now another important thing is that here is the channel so some of you have participated in the arcade program and arcade facilitator program also so once again let me summarize this so for the arcade facilitator program for facilitators there are swags and certificates for participants there are only bonus what the arcade facilitator program for the facilitator they have to enroll 100 plus students and all hundreds who complete this milestone let me show you the sample milestone it was for previous cohort like they have to complete these things like if you complete these all you'll be able to get the bonus one now here they have introduced lafay courses and skill badges so skill badges also i have prepared a sheet i've shared the video link in the description and sheet also you can watch it and complete accordingly now the another thing is that we are getting bonus points for free. Here we are getting bus by doing 40 points only, we are getting 25 points for free. So you can see 
by having from proper we are just jumping directly to the reach of bhaj route for participant i am talking and for facilitator some guys were asking that can we participate as a participant and a facilitator do so yes as per the previous rule anyone any facilitator can participate as a participant too and complete this program so we will be having two sets of swags one set is facilitator swags if you reach that milestone and one set for these swags so one more important thing is that for facilitator swags also there is a set of milestone and milestone video will be coming soon so stay tuned for it because currently the milestone is not updated yet so you need to take care of it okay i hope that clears your doubt so milestone in simple words uh, i can share like suppose 400 skill badges 100 games and 200 trivia gigs so what does it mean 200 people if you have enrolled 100 people then upload up uh, it's sure that at least 50 to 80 people will do so make sure to try to enroll 100 plus participant so let's take example of 100 people if 100 people completes the january game sorry which game will start yes the august game so if 100 people complete the august game then more 100 will complete the trivias also and similarly with the skill patches also so they have to complete that particular time like for example 100 participant completes 100 skill badges 100 games 200 ge arcade trivia games and some of the special games so i hope that clears your doubt and if you face any query and any doubt you can comment down below one more important thing is that as per the previous cohort they are counting this certification zone and base camp also if they update this criteria i will make updated video on it no need to worry about so if you haven't filled this arcade facilitator form fill it fast because the form will close soon i hope this clears your doubt do like the video and